Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is WW Movie Maker here. And before you check out my next video, I just want to let you guys know how you can support me here on YouTube. For all of the new visitors and new new viewers, make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button on my homepage if you like my content. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell, you know, for everyone who has subscribed so that you will be able to get notifications and be aware of when I upload videos at what time so you can watch them. Because again, YouTube sort of screws up on that at times and doesn't always let you know. So make sure you hit that notification button, subscribe, and let's grow our channel here on YouTube. Also, make sure that you do the same with my brand new channel that was recently created, Movie Maker Talks. Subscribe there, hit the notification bell. Weekly uploads are what you can expect. I will attempt to weekly upload videos on that uh, YouTube channel as much as I possibly can. Um, sometimes you'll have two weeks, maybe three weeks. I will not try to overload you with content on that channel, so expect maybe a week or two. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Another way you can support me as well is on VidMe. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I recently went and created a VidMe account to upload videos as well. I will not be doing uh, weekly uh, or even you know, daily videos, uh, most likely once every two, maybe three weeks as well. Different videos than I upload on the actual WWE Movie Maker channel on YouTube and different videos on VidMe, so you can expect different things there as well. Make sure to follow my channel, all right? Make sure to stay tuned with my channel, upvote my videos, and share my videos on VidMe as well. And finally, another way you can help support WWE Movie Maker is by pledging to my Patreon. WWE Movie Maker, it's patreon.com backslash WWE Movie Maker. Please help out me because I need the help. You know, everybody needs the help. YouTube has not given us the amount of money we need. One dollar per every video I upload. Again, I will not be uploading many videos every single week. I won't even be uploading weekly. It'll be once, maybe every two, three weeks, one video per month. We'll see. But make sure, man, donate one dollar uh, and uh, we can get started right away with uh, creating a platform on Patreon. I can start uploading videos on Patreon as well. Vidme.com as well as YouTube, man. Thank you very much for what you've done so far and continue to support. Your support is greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the WWE Movie Maker channel, WWE Rumor, Reports, News, and Controversy. This is the channel for everything professional wrestling. Enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news right now, all right? I got a report here that may as well shock your balls off. That is if you're a guy. Listen, man, I don't know how many people are in favor of this happening, but I will give you my opinion after I read this article. Apparently, Becky Lynch wants to turn heel. We heard or saw a little bit of where or of, of how this report sort of makes sense we saw on smackdown becky lynch being confronted by natalia tamina carmella possibly joining that group possibly turning on charlotte possibly having a match at SummerSlam. i'm going to tell you what i think after i finish reading this article so Speaking with the Evening Times, Becky Lynch revealed that she would like to portray a heel character again on WWE television. She made the following remarks when asked. She said, I'd like to be heel again, absolutely. However, there are still so many elements of my personality that have yet to come out. I'd like to do more comedy, for example, and show all of the elements of Becky Lynch. Then maybe an attitude adjustment would be in order, but we'll have to see how things pan out. That's what she said. So... First of all, I'm going to tell you right now, if Becky Lynch turns heel, here's the problem. It's going to be very difficult for her 
for, for us to boo her because she is the likable character while Charlotte is the character that we want to boo. Lately, they've made Charlotte look innocent, vulnerable, and, you know, we feel pity for her. We feel, we, we, you know, we, 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 we connect with her and we want to, you know, side with her because she's being beaten down every single week by, uh, by these, uh, you know, the, the, the faction called, um, I, I don't know, the welcomers, uh, the newcomers, I don't know what the fuck they're called, but Natalia, Tamina, and, uh, and uh, Carmella, also James Ellsworth, right? So Charlotte is easily the face She's going to be turned into the face, and she's going to be having a little character switch, which I don't mind. I think WWE can work with anybody being a face or a heel, right? I mean, um, unless you're Roman Reigns, obviously, right? But let's not go there. Now, my opinion on Charlotte and Becky Lynch. They're literally switching the roles here, right? If Becky Lynch were to turn heel, I would love to see the dynamic, and I will tell you how I would book it, all right? Becky Lynch was confronted by the faction uh, with Natalia, Tamina, and Carmella, and along with James Ellsworth, and they asked her if she wanted to be part of this group because apparently, you know, they have been doing this for her because she deserves to get a title match against Naomi, not Charlotte, not somebody from Raw coming into SmackDown. They certainly do not deserve it right away. But Becky Lynch does. Now, that's obviously sketchy right there. Why would somebody in the WWE be vying for somebody else for a title shot? Well, why would they care about anybody else having a title shot, right? That's already sketchy. What I would do is Becky Lynch would obviously say no, right? In the coming weeks, right? She'd, she'd not partner up with them, right? She'd partner up with Charlotte or, or she'd have one-on-one -on -one matches against these women. And uh, after, you know... You know, so one or two matches, uh, you know, the, the, they might say, you know what, Becky Lynch, do you want to can reconsider? You can reconsider joining our faction, right? And Becky Lynch just stands there. Doesn't say no, right? But just stands there and is like, whatever, right? And then let's say one day or, or one night on SmackDown Live, whenever that is, uh, we have Charlotte and Becky Lynch versus, you know, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, Tamina and Natalia, right? We have... We have those two uh, or those four women go in a tag team match. And then right near the end, you know, Becky Lynch refuses to tag in Charlotte, right? Becky Lynch refuses, right? Watches Charlotte lose and then goes in and attacks her along with the faction. And then you, you have a good setting up for a SummerSlam match. So really, if Becky Lynch is going to turn heel, it's not going to be very, very soon. It may as well be near July, you know. Um, there are other ways you could do about it as well. You, if, if you don't want her to tag Charlotte, uh, you know, you could also have her, you know, beat up Charlotte or just walk off, walk out of the ring or whatever. But I think not tagging Charlotte is the good, um, shocking moment that people would like to see, which will turn Becky Lynch heel. She'll be part of that group. And then they, um, uh, you know, Whatever happens there, those those women might go on, off into a feud with themselves. We'll have Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. Something like that will happen. And, uh, you know, slowly have the group known as Natalia, Tamina, and Carmella move a little bit away from Becky Lynch. Because I don't think Becky Lynch, you know, it's going to be one thing to turn her heel. But to have her in a faction, oh, that's going to be something weird to look at. That's going to be something a little bit difficult for us to uh, swallow. And so I would say have them sort of distance themselves once Becky Lynch is heel and Becky Lynch versus Charlotte will happen at SummerSlam. A face versus a heel, right? But not the, uh, you know, not the face and heel we expect. The roles are going to be switched around. Obviously, um, that would give us such much more better dynamic is what we're looking for, right? We've seen Charlotte heel for um, since she, I guess, debuted on uh on WWE television right she was face for a little bit then you know heel for a good majority of a year and a half becky lynch was always face always right so it's a it's a it's the right time to turn them right in uh in in, in time for SummerSlam. so that's my prediction if becky lynch is turning heel i would love to see it would i love to see charlotte and becky lynch and the roles switched 110 percent. i'm looking for that man becky lynch doesn't want to turn heel at this point or well she said you know she wants to turn heel right which is what gives it away but also that she said she doesn't know if it's possible yet right so you know i think the idea of a tag team match where becky lynch ultimately betrays charlotte is going to be absolutely shocking right you could have becky lynch you know 
being a cheerleader outside of the ring, you know, uh, you know, helping out Charlotte, you know, trying to go in for the tag all the time. And then once Charlotte tries to tag in Becky Lynch, screw it. She walks off, does what Randy Orton did with Seth Rollins. Don't stick up the middle fingers. I mean, if you want to, you can. And then just walks out, you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, just stays there, stands there, watches her get beat up, walk in the ring and beat her up along with the uh, uh, the the group, the faction, and then that's it. You have a match. I think that's how it could go. So Becky Lynch wants to turn heel. This is uh, something that was... Um, Becky Lynch has been in the, in the news a lot. You know, she hasn't been on SmackDown so much. She's been on SmackDown last week. Um, and, you know, I think the heel turn is going to happen. And I think... You know, it's, you know, uh, not much is being said right now because everything is being kept under the radar. And we will see how it works out, man. Becky Lynch wants to turn heel. I would love it. State your comments in the below. Do you want to see Becky Lynch turn heel or stay face to face Charlotte at SummerSlam? What is your opinion? State that in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out.